I hope you enjoyed your less active weather, ladies and gentlemen, because Mama Nature is about to say welcome to April in a not-so-fun way. Can you measure hail in terms of Easter eggs? We're going to find out. Let's talk about it in this Tuesday edition of the Texas Weather Roundup. <laughs> There, I'm Texas Storm Chasers Baldy and Chief David Reimer. It's Tuesday, the 15th of April, 2025. We had a bit of a surprise this morning. If you lived in North Texas, Parker, Southern Tarrant, Northeastern Johnson, Ellis Counties, we had a storm. Can you guess how likely that was? It wasn't. That's why all of us woke up this morning. We're like, what? Seeing some hail video. Some of y'all got nickel to quarter size hail and a whole lot of it. Uh, that qualifies as a not on the bingo card moment so if that saying is on your baldy and chief bingo card congratulations you get to scratch that off in terms of the overall expectations today well maybe a few showers in central texas this morning otherwise we do not expect another surprise thunderstorm or really any appreciable precipitation to occur in the state of texas today tonight through Wednesday morning. As you can see going into tonight, we will have some cloud cover. Going into Wednesday afternoon, there is about a 10 to 20 percent chance we see a thunderstorm or two fire up in the Permian Basin, west central Texas, northwest Texas. If storms get going, they could have some hail. It is that time of year, but again, that's about a 10 to 20 percent chance. And any sort of storms we deal with tomorrow, if we deal with them at all, would be very isolated in nature. Firing up in the late afternoon during the peak heating, when the lid or cap on the atmosphere is typically the weakest, and then they would die down around or shortly after sunset. After Wednesday, we'll have to deal with Thursday. In terms of what Thursday is going to bring, not really thunderstorm chances at this point, but the potential for extreme wildfire danger. The Panhandle West Texas, the Permian Basin, the Trans-Pecos, the Big Bend, the Davis Mounds, the Guadalupe Mounds, the Borderland of Far West Texas around El Paso, with high to very high fire danger extending into the big country, the Concho Valley, the Hill Country, the Edwards Plateau, the Rio Grande Plains, the Rio Grande Valley, South Texas, South Central Texas, and then... And then our weather takes a significant shift, and uh, we're not going to have to talk about fires for a little while, hopefully. Let's go ahead and get into it with the severe weather outlooks. Now, we're going to start into that active pattern on Friday. We do expect scattered thunderstorms, probably maybe a line or a cluster, to fire up late Friday afternoon, maybe closer to dinner time Friday in portions of northwest Texas, the big country, west central Texas. Those storms would move east, east, northeast into portions of, well, good chunk of Oklahoma, Texoma, western north Texas. The potential for some of these storms to produce strong winds, hail, and heavy rainfall along, along with lightning. Going into the day, Saturday, thunderstorms, multiple rounds of storms. One round in the morning, followed by more storms firing up in the afternoon into Saturday night, Sunday morning, extending near a boundary pretty much all the way from the Permian Basin, the Northern Edwards Plateau, down from pretty much Midland, Sanderson, Lubbock, northeast through the Concho Valley, the big country, Junction, San Angelo, Abilene, into North Texas, Mineral Wells, Weatherford, Eastland, Comanche, Stephenville, all the way up through the DFW Metroplex, into Northeast Texas, Texoma, the Arklatex, Wichita Falls, Gainesville, Sherman, Texarkana, into portions of Oklahoma, Arkansas, and that risk actually extends all the way up to Canada. Uh, some of those storms, again, and we're going to have multiple rounds of them Saturday, large hail, damaging winds, heavy rainfall, frequent lightning. It doesn't mean all the storms are going to be dropping golf ball size hail or throwing out 70 mile an hour winds, but lightning and heavy rain, well, good bets. Sunday, Easter Sunday, the potential for scattered severe storms continuing. Northeast Texas, East Texas, the Brazos Valley, Central Texas, North Texas, and this includes places like Sherman, DFW, Waco, Bryan, College Station, Lufkin, Tyler, Texarkana, Center, Jasper, and this may be in the form of a line of storms moving from west to east Sunday morning into Sunday afternoon. The strongest storms capable of producing strong hail. Strong hail? How about strong winds? Large hail. 
frequent lightning, heavy rain. It's also worth noting by this point, soils are going to be saturated, grass is going to be wet, mud is going to be prevalent, and those of you planning Easter Sunday activities should have indoor backups in your back pocket. Yeah, whatever your favorite idiom of the day could be. It's going to be wet, so have a plan to do things inside, or at least where you're not going to be tracking in half of a muddy field afterwards. Let's take a look. The Long Range American Weather Model Global Forecast System going into Thursday, you can see, yeah, southerly winds return, maybe an isolated storm or two, Permian Basin, Big Country, West Texas, and then as we get into Friday, we're going to see a significant increase in thunderstorm activity, especially by the afternoon, evening, overnight hours in the aforementioned regions. And then we're just going to keep on going through the weekend with multiple rounds of showers and storms possible throughout Saturday and into Sunday across really the eastern 75% of Texas. And yes, at times we're going to be dealing with some heavier rain, some heavier storms, exactly what we deal with when is still up in the air a bit. We're still talking the four to six day time frame here. And as we get closer in to that time range, we'll have higher resolution weather model data and hopefully a better picture of the overall timing scenarios. But we are expecting multiple rounds of showers and thunderstorms with the potential for heavy rainfall, some of those storms producing hail and strong winds. I'll be honest, at this point, the tornado threat, just not sure yet. Uh, typically, in these situations, the tornado threat isn't super duper high because we have multiple rounds of heavier rain. But that doesn't mean it's going to be zero either. We'll keep an eye on it and keep an eye out as we get closer. But at this point, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, the eastern 75% of Texas, multiple rounds of showers and thunderstorms are expected. Precipitation should be moving out of the state, east of the state, Sunday evening, the way it looks now, but that could change. Monday, eh, Monday may be a bit of a less active day before chances for rain return on Tuesday. Forecast rain totals over the next seven days. This will take us through Monday. The potential for two to three inches of rain, evident, Texoma, North Texas, with maybe one half inch to one inch of rain, the eastern panhandle, west central Texas, the big country, the Concho Valley, central Texas, and the Arklatex, northeast Texas, with maybe a quarter inch to locally one inch of rain, panhandle, west Texas, the Permian Basin, into the Edwards Plateau, Brazos Valley, southeast Texas, the Golden Triangle. And again, we'll have to keep an eye out for some flooding threat, especially closer to the Red River in north Texas, this weekend with multiple rounds of heavier storms. It's certainly possible someone could get more than, you know, three inches of rain out of this. Temperatures over the next five days. Well, today, 90s down in the Edwards Plateau, still cooler than yesterday, with 70s, even a few 60s, northern two-thirds of the state. That goes away tomorrow. We're all back in pretty much the upper 70s, 80s, and 90s. Going into Thursday, we're getting into the mid to upper 90s, eastern Panhandle, northwest Texas, the big country, the Trans-Pecos, the Permian Basin, the Edwards Plateau, the Rio Grande Plains, with near 90-degree temperatures along the Interstate 35 corridor and along the Interstate 10 corridor. So, almost everyone. Here we go into Friday. A little cooler in the Panhandle, but triple digits down in the Rio Grande Plains. Upper 80s and low 90s for a good chunk of the state. And then Saturday, you can see as we begin to have precipitation chances increase, some cooler weather in the Panhandle, but still most of the state ranging into the 70s and 80s with temperatures in the 90s along and south of a line from Del Rio to San Antonio to Corpus Christi. That's going to be it for your Tuesday edition of the Texas Weather Roundup. Again, we are going to be busy Friday, Saturday, Sunday with thunderstorm chances. You can get your local weather forecast, interactive weather radar, daily Texas weather roundups, and more on the Texas Storm Chasers website, texasstormchasers.com, and in the free Texas Storm Chasers mobile app. To search for Texas Storm Chasers, where you download apps to your device. Thanks for joining us here on YouTube. If you haven't already, consider giving us a big old thumbs up like on this video, and if you want notifications when we publish new content, click subscribe. It's all free, and it really does help us out in that magical land of algorithms. We'll be back 
bright and early Wednesday with your next Texas Weather Roundup. Have a great Tuesday. Enjoy the comparatively cooler weather while it lasts. And God bless. Thank mm-hmm. you.